Do you have Surfin' Bird by the Trash Man? No, I'm sorry. A dog and a baby came in and bought all 63 copies. Damn it! This is a third used record store with that same story. You, uh, you, you look familiar. Do I, do I know you? Did you go to North Providence High School? No. You friends with Gary who owns the uh, dry cleaners? No. Are you Jesus Christ? No. Oh my God, you are! You're Jesus Christ! No, I'm not. I'm just a guy working at a record store. Huh. Well, if you're not Jesus Christ, then you won't mind if I pee on these Amy Grant CDs. Don't! Aha! You are Jesus! Yes, I am. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! The Messiah! You've returned! You've returned to bring us the good word! What word? A well a bird, bird, bird. But birds are word a well a bird, bird, bird. But birds are word a well a bird, bird, bird. But birds are word a well a bird, bird, bird. But birds are word a well a bird, bird. But birds are word a. Jesus Christ has returned to Earth. I can't believe it. The second coming. Will you keep it down? It's not the second coming. Okay, so what are you doing here? Well, believe it or not, I pop in every hundred years or so, kind of incognito, just to get away from the family. Plus, the timing seemed good, because my dad just quit smoking, and he's a little on edge. Who took my checkbook? Ellen? Why is there a pen cap and no pen? You're the first person to recognize me in 2,000 years. Hey, you seem like a nice guy. Hey, why don't you come over to my house for dinner tonight? Okay, but I don't get off till 7. Great, we'll have a blast. After we eat, we can watch that YouTube footage of Miley Matlin calling movie phone. Please say the name of the movie you'd like to see now. The Nast Mimti. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Please say the name of the movie you'd like to see now. The Nast Mimti. You have selected 300. If this is the movie you'd like to see, say yes now. No. You have confirmed 300. <laughs> Wow, Jesus Christ at our dinner table. <laughs> I still can't get over it. I'm actually glad you're all here tonight. I want to tell you that one of you will betray me. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Ah, he's doing that thing he did in his storybook. So, Jesus, finish that story you were telling us. Oh, all right, all right. So there I was, they'd just beaten me senseless, stuck thorns in my head, nailed me to a piece of wood, shoved a sponge full of vinegar in my mouth, and killed me. Then, they put me in a hole with a rock in front of it for two whole days, and come Sunday, bam, I rise from the dead. Okay, that sounds like a nutty weekend, but I can top it. So me and Cleveland and Joe are just wrecked on Southern Comfort, right? We know we're gonna puke, but Joe says, hey, let's go see Chronicles of Riddick. Sat through the whole thing without puking, then I get home, wouldn't you know I lost my glasses? Eh? Peter one, Jesus zero. You know, Jesus, if I go get my cell phone, would you mind talking to my friend Muriel Goldman? I really just want to stick this up her ass. All right, I'll be the one to say it. How do we know you're really Jesus? Can you perform miracles? Sure. How about this? Oh, boy, Sundays! I love you, Jesus! Oh, I love you too, fella. Hey, Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? Say, listen, Jesus, I know you're trying to keep a low profile, but there's one person I really want you to meet. Oh, yeah? Who's that? The American people may have turned against the war, but I answer to a higher power. I answer to the power of Jesus Christ. Oh, well, uh, that's funny, because I happen to have Jesus Christ right here. I heard what you were saying. You know nothing of my work. How you ever got to be president of anything is totally amazing. Boy, wouldn't it be great if life were like this? Hey, listen, Jesus, thanks for coming by tonight and hanging out with us. You may look like a bum, but you got a lot of talent, young man. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but I have had a blast. Oh, wonderful, wonderful! Yeah, I'd forgotten how great it is interacting with other people. Well, I better get some sleep. I gotta open the store tomorrow. Oh, you don't want to go back to that record store. You gotta get back out there, coloring eggs and hiding them for kids. What, you mean, reveal myself? Absolutely. This world needs you, Jesus. It needs you like a guy who can't get it up needs a distraction. Mm. I am so ready to have sex with you. Oh, hey, is that my phone? I don't hear anything. Is that John Aston? I don't see anyone out there. Oh. Well, now there's so much going on. You know, you're right, Peter. It may be time. But how do we do it? <laughs>